Not a spare seat to be had here at Brunton Park this afternoon. Carlisle United know what the stakes are here today. Bradford have done half the job. A clean sheet will be enough for them. teams around the sun is shining is all set here pitch in perfect condition as well guy former Bradford player played 17 times for them in the first half of 2018 on loan for his then side Derby County Gordon The assistant was looking straight at it, but nothing to it. And this place is roaring. John Kimani Gordon opening up there and curling one onto the foot of the post. Did the goalkeeper get a touch there? He did. Set here by Callum Guy. Senior loves a run as he's showing here. He might go all the way. He said he'll set it. It's a good save for the rebound. Is in from John Kimani Gordon. Pandemonium here at Brenton Park. They're alive and kicking in this playoff semi final again. the side today after his suspension and repaying the faith put it in by manager Paul Simpson but that initial effort from Harry Lewis that was saved by the goalkeeper sorry was just too hot to handle fired through only pushed back out into the six yard area as Moxon guided it towards goal it did take a deflection but Halliday couldn't prevent it being forced home. Lewis, I'm sure, will be disappointed there. Nick on Bradford. Loaded high by Halliday, and a free header, oh it's off the post, still a chance, can't the save. The header by Scott Banks, and then the follow-up effort saved as well. It was Walker who actually turned it onto the post. We'll take this free kick. in towards goal, it was well delivered. In there looking for the header was Whelan. And behind it goes, Carlisle United have a corner. And there's Bradford fans on the far side looking on nervously here. In these tropical springtime temperatures. It's a great corner in, it's in the pace. And what a save from Lewis. Moxon it was who rifled it back in. Unbelievably tipped over the top. How did that stay out? Garner it was initially, who I think hit the post with his header as he stooped down. Forward here by Gilead for Bradford City, who are looking for a quick goal back. Just poked away in time. And the counter could be on here with Gordon. He's got a lot of work to do. Stubbs holding him up for now. Gordon. Still maybe a chance. Gordon might take it on. Garner, he'll definitely take it on. And that could have gone anywhere. Behind off Stubbs for a corner.
game of high stakes being played at a breakneck speed here at times. Smallwood, Halliday, Smallwood. Armour. Still there for Bradford if they want to put it in the box. Banks. Oh, maybe a chance here. No flag for offside. And headed away by Joel Senior. Edmondson tucked it back, and that might do it for us in normal time here. Carlisle, the winners on the day, level on aggregate, and that means that this playoff semi final tie will go to 30 minutes of extra time. Both sides have given everything here. Both sides won the home leg 1 0. An own goal as it was here from Brad Halliday means that we will go to extra time, which is coming up shortly. It is finished here at Brunton Park. Carlisle United 1, Bradford City 0. It's 1 1 in aggregate. This goes to extra time, which is coming up in a couple of minutes' time. Finished his playing career here at Carlisle United when he was player manager from 2003 to 6. Paul Simpson. A former Stockport player as well, so he could face his former side. And the final. This team have a corner here as Stubbs knocks it behind. Played seven and a half minutes of extra time. Owen Moxon with the corner. Guy waiting. Firing it through! And he finds the corner! Of course, it's a former Bradford player! And Carlisle United could be headed to Wembley! with at least a goal here now in the final 20 minutes or so. East, direct to Cook. Fire over the top, wow, that wasn't far away from Osadibi. Nearly a quick reply for Bradford. Cook doing what he does best, and Osadibi only a fraction over in the end. His team have done everything that he asked for. Banks, always in behind here for Bradford, who could be in, they surely are, and they've scored! It's the substitute, Matt Derbyshire! Just when he side needed it. And the man who scored the first ever goal at Wembley Stadium back in 2007 could be taking Bradford City back there again. And just look at what it's done for the atmosphere in this place. The Bantams are bouncing again. He started the move 
with that ball into the right channel. Taken on by Banks after that. And the give and go was perfectly worked. Banks who had that turn of pace just when it was needed. And Derbyshire on hand to fire home his second goal for the club. And one which will mean so much to Bantams fans watching across the world. Also Davy, it's Gibson now. And two in from Edmondson. Gibson wins the corner. Taken very quickly here by Armour. Gibson hangs it high and long. Patrick was in there. Huntington sets it. Trying to fire it through was the goal scorer, Callum Guy. He's recycled it. Well, this just needs a touch. of touches here with the goalkeeper wrong footed security unable to keep them off we know what's coming to throw into Bradford City In the League Two playoff final. And you can see exactly what it means to their fans here. Pouring onto the field after their dramatic extra time win against Bradford City. A man who can't play in the final is the hero, Ben Barkley. But the Bradford fans appreciative of what their side have done this season. But this is where it ends for Mark Hughes' men.